It's the Esco Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Kendrick Lamar. This guy's an absolute menace. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, all it took was eight words from Kendrick Lamar to make J. Cole crumble. Those eight words. F the big three. It's just big me. That's it. And J. Cole crumbled. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I can't believe what happened last night. J. Cole... Uh, he headlined his Dream Bell Fest, and he got on stage and apologized to Kendrick Lamar over his song, Seven Minute Drill. Yes, the Kendrick Lamar diss. He said, that song was the lamest ish I ever did. I think apologizing for it might be the lamest ish he ever did, KJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, J. Cole said that he felt conflicted, and he moved in a way that spiritually feels bad on him. Uh, J. Cole says he tried to jab uh, Kendrick Lamar back, and he tried to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when he listens to 7-Minute Drill, he says that that ish don't sit right with him. He says that ish don't sit right with my spirit. He says it disrupts his peace. Then he went on to ask the crowd there at Dreamville Fest, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest to ever touch a microphone? And he said, do y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So (laughs) all it took was two days, dude. (laughs) Two days for this guy to apologize for dissing Kendrick Lamar. And he's out here showing him all kind of love at his own festival. He is. I, I mean, I, hey, I'm all for J. Cole. Uh, you know, I, I get it. If that didn't sit right with him and he wasn't being true to himself, I'm all for that. That's all good. But just know now, just know, like, like we can never speak this guy's name ever again in the same breath as Kendrick Lamar or Drake. There is no big three, KJ. <laughs> there is no big three. That's what a lot of people are saying right now. That's everybody's reaction. No, no, dude. There is no big three, dude. That That's over with. Like you just you you just let me. He tapped out. He tapped out. He tapped out. I mean, what was your reaction when you saw that he apologized? I thought it. I, I mean, I did think it was kind of lame because I'm like, <laughs> I can see if he dissed Kendrick first and then felt bad, but it was like, hey, he dissed you first. You you clap back, you know, and you didn't even go that hard at him. Exactly. So it's like, don't don't feel bad. You R- did what you had to do. You clap back. You clap back. But you know what? Him apologizing makes sense because we, that's what we said. We said we didn't. He didn't go that hard at Adam on Seven Minute Drill, and you could tell when you listen to that song, he he wasn't really into it. Yeah, and you could feel like he wasn't really into dissing Kendrick Lamar. But like I, that's all I'm saying. Like wherever you have J Cole in your power rankings, <laughs> and wherever he's ranked as far as like you know greatest of all time and all that, you got to move him down. I'm sorry, you have to move him down. I've done, I don't know if I can listen to him the same anymore. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it'll take some time. Like yeah. it'll take some time. But like moving forward, wherever you have Kendrick ranked at, you need to move him up because he just dismantled J. Cole in a, in eight words. That's crazy. 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 So salute to Kendrick Lamar. He just he just killed the, the big three. <laughs> <laughs> that fast. I, they didn't Drake needs to remove that Drake needs to remove that line from first person shooter. That <laughs> line was a problem. It created all of this nonsense. <laughs> I mean, he just needs to take that out. Like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, what what is this gonna do for J. Cole's career moving forward? Because like now, like, I don't want to hear him talk about how great he is anymore. Because you're, obviously you're not. You're not there. You're and not the- like a top dog. You're not. Because you don't want to compete. This is competition. Again, this ain't nothing to do with him be finding his peace and winning. So that's all good. But yeah, like you reserve that right. But you know, we also reserve the right as audience to be like, no, you're not considered one of the top people anymore. <laughs> his project was my delete later, and that's exactly what he's about to do with this. This <laughs> <laughs> he said he's gonna delete the song off it too. Yeah, off he did streaming, say that. Seven minute drill. I mean, that's just crazy, bro. I've never, never in all my years of working in radio and all my years of just being a hip hop fan in general, I have never ever witnessed. Anything like this, where somebody apologized for dissing somebody two yeah. two days later, that is cr- in front this of a crowd. Crazy. <laughs> like it's crazy. I just I don't know. I don't know. But I was right when I said that Kendrick Lamar did more in one verse than J Cole did in the whole song. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was right about that. Uh, speaking of that song, like that number one again, second week in a row on the Billboard Hot 100. I mean, what can you say about that song? Obviously, I, if anything, if anything like that and Kendrick verse hits even harder now, KJ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Wow. Uh, remember, uh, Metro Boobin and Future have another new album dropping this Friday, and I'm sure it'll be full of surprises. It's called We Still Don't Trust You. I have a feeling that Kendrick Lamar is not going to apologize on this album, KJ. <laughs> 
if he is on it. <laughs> uh, speaking of albums, Beyonce, Cowboy Carter, the number one album in the country. Also, Beyonce becomes the first black woman in history to earn a number one on the top country albums chart. She is the first female artist in history to debut at number one on the Billboard 200 with each of her first eight solo albums. And she is number one on the Billboard Americana Folk Album Charts. So congratulations to Beyonce doing it real big with Cowboy Carter. An album that we're still waiting on is Vultures 2, KJ. But you know what I'm waiting on? I'm waiting on my Yeezy Pods. Still haven't got them yet, KJ. Oh, wow. Still haven't got my Yeezy Pods, Kanye West. I ordered Yeezy Pods a while ago. They were 20 bucks. I was like, you know what? They're 20 bucks. I'll just buy them. Why not? Just to see. It's 20 bucks. Let's see what they're all about. Still haven't received them. And guess what? Yeezy Pods has been removed from the Yeezy website. So they're not even up there wow. anymore, KJ. I done missed my beep. See? So I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. You would never got them anyway. Right. Just- <laughs> trying to wait till you got yours so I can see exactly how you look in person and then make my order but man it's, it's been a while now, so, they're not, now they're not there so Kanye West has removed the Yeezy pods from the Yeezy website now hopefully I'm hoping that they just said you know what we gotta stop selling these and just make all the ones that we owe people Yeah, maybe that's what I'm hoping for because you know I've waited this long I can wait another four years <laughs> Before those Yeezy Pods come in the mail. <laughs> and some other Kanye news. I don't know what's going on with him because he postponed his uh, listening experience in front of the pyramids. That also got postponed. We know he uh, postponed a whole bunch of other ones. Basically, everything that he pl- had planned in April has been postponed. So what do you think is going on with him? Uh, you know what I'm saying? What is he up to? I don't know. Right. This is weird. It is weird. Just canceling everything? And everything? he deleted his Instagram. And he deleted his Instagram. He he's been something. quiet. Yeah, he's, he's been, been real quiet. quiet. It's kind of mm. scary. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going on with that. Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco. Let's go. Make sure you follow my podcast at Esco. Let's go. That's E S K O L E T S G O. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same E S K O L E T S G O. All one word. Thanks for listening. <laughs>